and the terrace was of course overgrown completely with uh, all kinds of briars and whatnot. So I've gone through it and there's an enormous amount of leftover materials from various parts of construction throughout the whole life of this house. So um, yeah, so this is our rubble leftover from the rebuild of the breezeway. So, <laughs> Jen, is this the garden you would hope for? Hey there, so I'm on the terrace. Excuse my uh, clothesline, you know, we have that all natural dryer, but um, cleaned up a lot of debris. I planted my lemon tree in the great big pot that you see there. And um, I've got lots of succulents started over here on my rock wall as it comes down from upstairs. Um, still lots of work to do, but we are getting somewhere and it is an absolutely gorgeous afternoon here in Santa Maria Alabeto. But you can see all the fun things that we have to do. The ceiling covering up from all the wonderful left at the end of our work day today. And um, it looks good out there. With the ceiling, we can see this area has not been done, but this area has a piece of plaster on it. It's like a TV wire. Okay, well, that's good. So I But I just, wouldn't go yank it out. No, I wasn't gonna yank it, but I can shimento Bianco over it, yeah? You, you all right, all right. Look at all the beautiful different colors that we have here. There's at least seven layers. Ladies and gentlemen, here is of the paint results and plastering results from our front room. It is the room that's at the very front of the house and um, it's where we hope to have living room furniture eventually. We have some, we kind of like it. You can see out when the door is open on a beautiful day like it is today. We have um, kept a couple of pieces of art and I repainted a piece of art and um, please excuse what we refer to as the cave. It still has some construction materials in it. We hope to build a wine rack back there and put some beautiful drapery. And that is our finished front room.